Heat number two, away we go. Martin Vasilik has made it work. He gets himself to do uh, the first turn. Kubera, Dominic Kubera, absolutely ripping round the outside of Martin Vasilik. Where did he find that from? Kim Nielsen back in third place, running wide. Robert uh, Lambert now coming through into third place, but Kubera fired up there, found the grip, found the speed, and roared to the front. Yeah, Kubera seems to have got the perfect setup by working really nicely for him. Managed to match. Uh, Martin Vasilik on the way to the corner and then just, just rode around him. You wouldn't expect to see that in this early heat, but he's done a great job there. Robert Lambert went nowhere off the start and uh, he's done a decent first lap, got himself into third, but with the race settling down, doesn't look like he's going to be able to get past Vasilik. So uh, Kubera, who needs a big, big night, he wants to make the top six, starting very strongly here in heat number two. Martin Vasilik has settled down here. Chat's pretty slick. Some. Uh, Kubera found the extra grip, found the speed, and what a way to start the night. Hasn't had great Polish Grand Prix this season, but uh, first ride there, very different indeed, picks up the big three points. Here we go then, tapes are up, away we go, roaring into the first corner, Wozniak on the inside, Holder there just running a little bit wide, smashing move from Kubera, stunning move from Kubera, he had a oh, terrific cool. ride there in his opening ride. Huckenbeck has come from nowhere and charged into second place. Now Wozniak coming through in the second place. Can't take your eyes off it tonight. Hold around the inside. Got to say, Kubera is away. Wozniak's in a little bit of trouble there, but he's back in the second place. Incredible speedway. Uh, Kubera's just enjoying himself out front. Everything working perfectly oh. for him. Looking good as the riders behind him swapping places just for fun. We've got, oh, Wozniak, bikes grabbed on him. He's had to go right out. Well, always a mistake there at the back for Huckenbeck. Almost runs out of track. Jack Holden has got himself back into second place. We've got two tracks here, Kelvin, one about a metre off the kerb and one less than a metre off the fence. Yeah, absolutely. Kubera out in front with a stunning move earlier on. Jack Holder has had to fight for his life there to hang on to second place. Bosniak really putting him under immense pressure. But uh, Dominic Kubera, back-to-back -back race wins here. In turn this evening, what a strong start from him. He knows what's up for grabs. Green light comes on, long pause this time. Smarsik's made a lovely start. Jankovic has gone pretty much straight to the dirt. And Smarsik's around the inside. Here comes Kovec oh, again. Brilliant. Kovec, that is such a stunning move. Absolutely fantastic from Jankovic, who had five points coming into this one. Bartosz Smarsik now electing to go very, very wide. Can he repay the compliment to Kovec? But I'll tell you what, he's very vulnerable oh. now to Kubera. I'll tell you what, Smarsik's not having it all his own way tonight. No, it's not Smarsik. Six nights so far tonight, just two points coming into this one at the moment, adding one more, but look at that cup back Whoa. on the inside. Get out of the way, I'm coming through. And I've got to say, Jan Kovec really is sending a message out there. He's uh, saying it may have been tough for me this year. I am learning, but look, I'm learning quick. Indeed he is, Kubera now back into second place, Marzlik chopping to the inside, but Kubera wrote, uh, what, read that, excuse me, absolutely perfectly. Marzlik had to pull a huge locker there, and uh, for the world champion, well, he's relegated to third base, but Jankovic, this is a dreamland for Jankovic. Stunning opening lap, committed to the outside, look at the speed he had down the back straight on the opening lap. It's OK, a bit shaken up, but uh, good to see him on his feet. Here we go, tapes are up. Away we go, roaring into the first corner. Kubera's got there, now uh, Patrick Dudek turning it back, chases him down the back straight, but Kubera once again looking good here, having to do it three times making the start from the inside. Patrick Dudek following him around, could be quite a tussle this one. Yeah, Dudek obviously hasn't got anybody chasing him, so he can open the track up, he can ride where he wants without fear that someone will roar up the inside or go around the outside at the moment. He is matching Kubera, he's now looking on the outside. Can he find that little bit of extra traction? He always wants to cut back down to the inside. Kubera's got that covered. Indeed he has, but uh, now Patrick Dudek electing to go right in the dirt. Now, will it prove to be the right move? Kubera out in front, a lap to go. Here comes Dudek once again, electing to go very, very wide. Will the dirt there, can he control it? I'll tell you what, Kubera has ridden a brilliant race here. That bike working beautifully off the corners. And Dominic Kubera, he's going to move on to 11 points. What a night, he's in the semi-finals comfortably now. Here we go then. 
Gate number 18, they roar into the first corner. Matej Janowski, lovely start out of gate number two. He makes a, a good fist of it through the first corner. Here comes Lingren down the inside. We've got Kubera now electing to go really wide in turns three and four, charging round the outside. Will he get to the front? Yes, he can. Great effort from Kubera. What a night he is enjoying. Superb effort from the Polish rider. But uh, Janowski into second place. Freddie Lingren there in third. Max Frick is out the back now. Freddie's electing to go wide. Now, Kubera has been brilliant tonight by working well. He will top the score chart on 14 points if he can stay there. Lingren now going uh, right around the inside there. As Janowski looks to the fence, now cuts back to the inside, stops any move that uh, Freddie Lingren can make. But Kubera is pulling away with every lap, looking good. Yeah, Kubera really has got uh, a lot of speed in that motorbike tonight, absolutely in harmony with it. And as he comes through the final corner here in heat number 18, what a night so far for him. Terrific stuff for Robert, uh, for Dominic Kubera, excuse me. And uh, Max uh, Janowski in second place. Hard ride there for Freddie Lingman. He would have wanted a little bit more. Semi-final number one here in Torrent tonight. Green light comes on, takes up very quickly indeed. Kubera's made a lovely start, bit of argy-bargy going into the first corner. Here we go with Lingman, round the outside, Kubera's out of shape. Lingman fires it up the front. Madsen now firing up the inside, gets the better of Kubera. Kubera's got work to do, we said it. Freddie Lingman electing to go into the dirt, and he has got himself to the front. Yeah, Lingman knew exactly what he needed to do. Now Ian Kubek is starting to wind it up on the outside. Has he got enough laps to do it? But Madsen there, Kubera, has got work to do with uh, Madsen said place. Now Jan Kovac is trying to work it out. But Kubera, this is a disaster for him. That one mistake down the straight, bike climbed up on him, lost his momentum. Indeed he did. 14 points coming into this one. We're into the last lap. What a stunning move from Freddie Lingren. You cannot doubt his commitment at any time. He's going to go through to the final tonight. Pressure on Lambert again, no doubt about that. After the disappointment two weeks ago, Lingren is back here. Lingren and Madsen through to the final. Kubera will be devastated, devastated not to make the final. I feel for him, he'd, oh. he'd done enough, he was in front, but he just, just lost lifted, momentum. lifted violently coming out of turn two on the opening lap.